hi guys uh, welcome to my channel okay in this tutorial I'm going to show you a very 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 simple very easy to design logo but it's really powerful marketing wise it's really really simple but it's very effective everybody see the logo they will remember the logo so I'm just going to teach you guys how to draw this logo please don't try to use the same logo if you need a logo like that but just use the idea and uh, use uh, use it on your own work so I want to tell you this is my first tutorial uh, with my voice explanation normally I will do time-lapse uh, tutorials fast tutorials just with uh, background music so I'm not a native English speaker because could not understand what I'm trying to say I'm so sorry uh, over time I will improve and there will be more tutorials coming like this but this is a very basic very ba simple tutorial so I hope you guys understand if you are a professional I think th you can just get the idea of, but this is just a basic tutorial I'm trying to teach how to use the path tool so I think this is not for a very good professional but if you li like to see you are welcome also please subscribe to my channel like my videos and you can even criticize if I do anything wrong you can criticize and also it will improve my future works as, as well so let's start our tutorial okay we go to the path tool okay let's first uh, I don't I don't like to keep the path tool like this because it's somewhat uh, disturbing the uh, disturbing my concentration so I always convert this to a pointer a plus point which you click caps lock then it will change to sorry cross cross pointer just press on caps lock you will see the cross pointer like that and then let's start our tutorial it's very simple okay first thing first we start from here okay press and then the second place second point go to the second point press and by pressing just drag and you will see that there are two pointers appearing and you can control the pointers by moving the mouse like this so in our case we need somewhere around here okay so I think this is good enough then release it so you guys see it's already the path is from this point to this point path is already created so so now we want a straight line but as you can see the path is symmetrical so it's 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 appearing like a arc so to make it one side is very easy you just click click on the anchor point here that's it then you go and click again I think somewhere around here click with the shift so it feels it will always be straight line if you click with if you press and hold the shift key okay so I think somewhere around here is okay then here click again and do the same I think this is good enough okay now click again and click here as you can see there is a there is a O symbol or circle symbol which means you are closing the path you always have to close the path to path pass most of the time which is really good practice also if you are planning to uh, sell it in shutter stock or any other stock vector uh, websites 
they always want your parts to be closed so always try to close your part so we close the part and we have to make this this one straight so we go and select the direct selection tool you can press a and select it and you can just align center or align okay our logo is almost done yeah that's so simple our lo i think it's almost like 60 percent is done all we have to do is draw two more two more parts like this <laughs> yeah so let's start the other other two parts of the main of this logo okay let's uh let's start with here and just follow the same previous steps mm, try to match to the previous arc i think somewhere around here is would be nicer and bring it up and draw again and bring it up and close it up and this is okay so we go to the path uh, direct selection tool and adjust the adjust the path okay mm, okay okay Okay, so looking good. Okay, I think this is good enough. Mm, thing here we have to adjust a bit and like that. Okay, I think this is this is looking great. Okay, we just follow the same step again we just draw another one you can just copy and paste but i wouldn't suggest the one we just draw again this is very simple logo so why do shortcuts okay i think we stop somewhere around here would be okay okay and the center point and close it yeah so we adjust again mm, yes now it's look like a book half book actually okay I think this one uh, I just a uh, bit here and there okay what do you think I think this is good enough right okay you guys can do better than this I just okay hmm I think this is okay let's draw the other side and uh, let's see the final outcome so so all it left is one final step you just select this one and just copy this one to other side how to do it very easy go to the copy uh, reflect tool you can press O and double click and select vertical is already select vertical you can preview if you do so that's it and press the copy button and that's it the logo is almost ready select two of them and I think and bring it to select two of them and bring it to here and yeah so now you guys can see the book there but we cannot see the apple there how to make it more apple-y apple -y? is that a word? I don't know anyway okay 
so let's select one side and maybe we move it further maybe two three times yeah do the same for times is it this is looking more like upper yes for me yeah another two is okay already mm, and we bring this one a bit up yeah nice yeah a bit down a bit uh, you guys can delete and copy again or so if you want but I think this is okay this is looking good okay now the main logo looking okay so now the colors are very important to make the logo looks more and more like it just gives the feeling about feeling colors are the one going to give you the feeling so i think colors are very very important so i already select my colors earlier uh, those colors were in my head so i just came and i just and put it here put it into my library before i start my work so let's start to color so I think I have screw up something here. Let's adjust that one first. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. This is good. This is looking good. Okay. Okay, this is looking very good now. Okay, okay, guys, I think this is good enough for now. Later, also we can adjust. I think after we put the colors, uh, it will give a more final output. So we put, we apply the colors. So my colors, okay, you can see. I think the light side must be this one. So I select this one, and dark side is here and this is mm, i think this one is nicer okay yes and the background color is background color is something like this this is okay i think then we cannot see the green so we put like that yeah it's okay for now okay so what else we can do to make the logo even more nice uh, okay we definitely want to add a shadow uh, only here so we put a shadow like this bring the circle button here yeah then apply the radial and just bring it outside and the white one opacity to zero and instead of white put it black also and use the gradient tool make it a nice circle and even this one we pass it to 50 no I think 70 is okay colors change to RGB uh, sorry CMYK and bring all to black and this one we bring the opacity to 50 a little bit is okay no need to be so much just you barely see no. okay I think we need to lock the background
bring it front and this one and this one may be uh, we bring the opacity to 65 yeah and bring bring it oh sorry bring it around here is okay okay now group everything so we write our text below Apple Bookshop and and the font type is Leto and light. This is the font I like for this logo. Center it. Font color maybe green. Yeah. Mm, this is a very nice logo. So this is this, this is it, guys. I mean, this is a very simple tutorial, very easy to make and and anyone can do it and you can use your own application even if you use like Coral Draw or other application is going to be same you just use the path tool and draw it's nothing to this is not teaching much but I just trying to show that you can create a very simple logo but end of the day it's very nice looking also it's going to be your company's identity so keep it simple simple logos are easy to recognize also for a startup or new companies I see a lot of new people they try to do their own logos but I don't always prefer if you are not a professional designer or if you don't have a designing knowledge I don't prefer you designing your own logos but if you want to do it on do it on your own then maybe you can use my tutorial as a sample please don't try to copy the same logo just uh, come up with some simple idea and uh, use it don't be afraid and hopefully this teach you something for your future and thank you for watching and Please, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Also, comment and tell what did I do, what did I miss? If can you understand what I'm trying to say? If you never, if you don't understand a word I say, I'm so sorry. As I said, this is my first tutorial. Also, uh, this is the first time I'm making a tutorial ever with my voice, and I'm not a native English speaker, as I told you earlier. So please bear with me guys, uh, I will improve but just give your feedbacks what can I improve, how to make more tutorials which is useful for people and thanks for watching, uh, see you next time, bye bye.